So today will be about the personal wants and needs. Personal wants and needs are the things that are actually showing the lack of something in life. Because when you need something, it means you're missing something. When you say, I need to drink, it means you're thirsty. I need to eat, it means you're hungry. If you say, I need to do whatever, basically you got the idea. When you say, I need love, it means you're missing love in your life. Uh, when you say you need somebody to hug, it means you're missing someone close in your life. So these are personal wants and needs. And personal wants is like a, something that you want for who knows what reason, because... You never got that because somebody else has it and you're, you, you envy that person or because uh, you have, again, some inner lack of something and you want something or you saw something that you like that somebody else has or just something that you like and you want it. Uh, you know, those personal wants and needs when you are aware, self-aware, they can guide you to a source of what is missing in your life and it can be fixed. Or you can find a cool substitutes for that, like some kind of passions or hobbies or other stuff that you can do not to feel frustrated because you don't have something which you want and need. But these personal needs, wants and needs can be very dangerous very dangerous because maybe a person who feels such a deficit uh, such a lack of something in life will try to get it no matter what even if it means violating someone even if it means raping someone even if it means killing someone i believe that personal wants and needs that haven't been fed, haven't been uh, localized and um, tamped in a way and for which the substitutes haven't been found or other things that create a better feeling, uh, well, they can lead to... And, and they have... It, and a specific person is um, experiencing that, like a bit, not maybe a bit, but even a lot psychopathic. Uh, or with some other traumas in life that led to inner anger, you know, when a person like this experiences a lack of those personal wants and needs, it can be very dangerous. And anyway, even for a simple human being. So often I see people being guided by their personal wants and needs and wanting something from a person that they want it from, right? For example, let's say sex because it's the easiest example I can have for you and is objectifying in a sexual way somebody because I don't know, likes the way looks, talks, moves this person and is treating this person just like a sexual object because he or she wants sex with that person and would not stop or even we not ref not have any kind of reflections that this person may go into deep depression because of one more question, one more one more word about sex and being objectified as a sexual object can go into a suicidal trial because of that. 
And just because we have some personal wants and needs, it doesn't mean that we should or actually that we can stop thinking about other people. And I don't mean their personal wants and needs, but their feelings, their emotions. Uh, thinking that this person is a person and has some history and maybe it's very emotional, traumatic history. And even one word about without thinking and saying about like, I want this from you or I want this or I need this can cause a very bad feeling leading to a very bad actions. So you know what? Realize your wants and needs, of course. Analyze them, where they're coming from and should you do something about it. But never project your wants and needs on anybody and never force, violate anyone, anyone. And never, never, ever, ever, ever treat anyone badly without respect just because you have some wants and needs. So that's it, guys. Respect each other. Respect yourself. Respect other person next to you. Respect the object of your personal wants and needs.